months of getting to know this guy, getting deep with him, getting personal with him, out the door. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the truth. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel the world. When you're getting it like that, you can pick out a girl. When you chase your own dreams, you can become a swirl. As many Welcome as back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notifications button before we get started. Next, I will not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you need the music to the intro, go to my homepage and you can also sign up with Life with Anthony Spade, which is my second page. Today, I'm going to be reacting to a video of a woman talks about why she gives it up on the first date. She kind of makes some sense when I watch it, but we're just going to get to it and you let me know exactly what you think about the video in the comments. But first, hit that like button. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys why it is crucial, important to have sex on the first date hear me out so i recently was seeing this guy we were taking things slow we probably had like 10 to 15 dates before actually having sex okay before we had sex. 10 to 15 dates is a lot all right if a woman hold on if a woman goes on 10 to 15 dates before she decides to sleep with you you have been in the friend zone too long. And pretty much when she gets with you, it's going to be out of pure desperation. Understand that, guys. You got to always think about the guy that, that you know got the women fast. But the girl that you like that gave it up to the guy that wasn't as good as you or at least wanted to treat her better. 15 dates is excessive. I asked him. I was like, hey, so what do you like during do you have any like kinks, you know, trying to, you know, he was like, no, I don't really have any kinks, nothing crazy, you know, okay, cool, so we go to F6, at first it was fine, okay, his was fine, he was fine, and then he starts to dirty talk, now I know what you're thinking, dirty talk is sexy, dirty talk is hot, I agree completely. Now when it comes to dirty talk, one thing that I can tell you, I built a fake account, and I've told you guys this plenty of times. I built a fake account with a woman online on a dating app, and trust me, when you watch the comments that the guys are sending to this to these women, it's nothing but dirty talk over and over and over again. And what a lot of you guys do, you withhold that dirty talk, and then when you get caught in the moment, you just want to start spilling it out. That's one thing that I noticed whenever I built a fake woman's account online, and so I could study the messages of what men are actually sending women. Um, but this man did not do your typical. I mean, he could have said. He could have said anything other than what he said. Because, okay, let me just reenact this for you. Okay, I'm him, okay? Yeah, yeah, you want me to get you pregnant? Yeah, you want me to put a baby in you so everyone knows you're mine? Yeah, you want me to get you pregnant? <laughs> now, I don't kink shame, but what the f***? What the f***? First time having s***, I asked you about your kinks. You didn't think that would, like... You didn't think you could like, you know, you should tell me that you don't just spring that on somebody. That is, that is the least sexy thing you could possibly say. But at the same time, she did make him wait 15 dates. You no, know, you can just imagine the type of testosterone that build up and the desirements that have built up with a man waiting that long. All right. One thing that a man have to learn to get control over is your desires. The quicker you can get control over your desires, the quicker you can control your actions as a man whenever you are around a woman. Majority of the times, you guys are extremely smart. You are extremely red-pilled. And when you get put back in the presence of a woman, all of that goes away. The way you feel is the same way that a woman feels towards the guy that she likes. It's just that a woman don't get to feel that way all the time. But in this situation, there are guys that once your desirement goes out of the bag, you do not know how to handle it. And it becomes a big turnoff to women. Also, then he was like, talk back, talk back, say something. What the f*** do you want me to say? Yeah, you want to pay for my abortion? You want to be a single dad? Yeah. What the f***? 
She's making sense. You One thing that you guys have to understand here is women nowadays don't want to have children as much as a lot of you want to have children. The ideologies have changed. When I was coming up, men wanted to get out, make the money, get it going. You know what I'm saying? And the women just wanted to sit at home and have kids and raise a family. But the guys wanted to chase money, have women. Guys didn't really want to have families. The women mainly wanted to have families. Nowadays, everything has switched. Women want to be free. You even have women that are having children and they're just giving it to the man. Women are not even in a mother. They don't have motherly spirits anymore. So they don't want to have children. And a lot of you guys out here, that's what you want really bad. You want something to love because you're not getting enough love. This is what happens when people want to have kids. They want to love something. But a lot of you guys want it more than the woman and it shows and it comes off as desperation. Months of getting to know this guy, getting deep with him, getting personal with him, out the door. Have sex on the first date. You heard it here first. Don't say I didn't warn you. You're welcome. Another thing that I want to say about that is that a lot of you guys, if you're still getting catfish and you're not seeing the real woman that you're actually talking to, in a lot of cases, you deserve to be played. You have Facebook out there. You saw, you have so many online cam apps that you can get to know each other. You shouldn't have to go on 15 dates. Now, with her saying 15 dates, I'm, I'm starting to think that this is a skit, something that she put together in her car just to put out there in order to get some notoriety. All right. The moral of the story here, guys, if she ain't holding you down, she's slowing you down. And 15 dates is not dating. It's called the friend zone. Now, before I go, I'm going to leave you guys with another video. And this video is going to be a woman exposing a dating app that makes you look good. But what dating app doesn't do that? And this is called the it dating cannot always. The dating app that's going to scare men from from dating. Let's get to it. When it comes to a woman, if you really want to try your chance at a woman, you want to catch her when she's at regular status, when she's looking just like this, when she's looking like plain Jane. That's the best time that you want to talk to a woman. But what you don't want to do whenever you're catching a woman at plain Jane's and you know she has the opportunity to be in cute, you don't want to call her pretty. Never call a woman pretty whenever she's not did up, whenever she doesn't have on makeup. Don't ever do that because men are always visualizing being nice. You think that that's being nice to her by telling her that she's pretty. You think that it turns around and gives her confidence, but it doesn't. And the reason why it doesn't is because women know you just want me. You just want to have sex with me. You're just trying to be nice to me because I know what happens whenever I put on makeup. That's one thing that women are going to learn fast. But you can shoot your shot at a woman whenever she's feeling plain and you have a better chance at getting her than you do whenever she actually puts on the makeup. The only time you're going to be able to get her when she puts on the makeup is when she starts to humble herself when no one's around, which is going to be hard when she has on makeup. Hopefully, you guys are able to get the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.